Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to make me some homemade burgers. And I appreciate you guys for joining me cooking with TK, cooking with Tammy, Mama TK. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get us some hamburger meat. I don't know how many pounds this is, you guys. But I'm going to season my meat with some black pepper. That's right, generously share that black pepper. I am going to use me some garlic pepper because I couldn't find my plain garlic. And I'm going to use some onion powder. Um, I'm going to use some hamburger seasoning, but I spice it up. Tastes so delicious in there. Usually I use some Lipton onion mix, but I didn't have any. I grabbed what I had in my kitchen, okay? So after I use my hamburger seasoning, I am going to use some barbecue seasoning um, because I want this hamburger on the grill type feeling of taste and flavor. And I'm not cooking it in the grill. That's right, y'all. We're cooking this in the Ninja Foodie. Okay, you see that garlic pepper? That's right, that I spoke about earlier. I put some of that up in here, up in here. And now we are going to use that liquid smoke. That's right. We're going to use liquid smoke because we want that smoky flavor from outside as if though we actually cook these burgers on the grill. Okay, all right, uh-huh, because it's the summertime and everybody loves them a good grilled burger. Also, you cannot forget the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce when you're trying to make your homemade burgers. Okay, now we have our seasoning. And guess what we need to do? We need to go ahead and um, mix these seasonings into our burger. So you're going to take your hand and you're going to go ahead and you're going to mix these burgers. Grind it up. Mix it up. Mash it up. Spin it all around. Mix those seasonings really, really well so that you can have some great tasting burgers. A hamburger is no good without flavor. Okay, now you may not like these particular seasons. You may just be a salt and pepper type of girl or guy. But hey, salt and pepper hits the taste of a burger just right if you know how to blend those seasonings in like I'm showing you how to do here. <clears throat> so if you never made a burger at home, this is the recipe for you. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next step. We have our burgers mixed together. And right here, we're going to go ahead and we are going to make us some patties, hamburger patties. You roll that burger around and around and around and around, round and around and around and around, just like you would a meatball. And then we're going to smash it with our hands. That's right. Smash it with our hands. If you're a pretty diva um, or a pretty guy, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to get down and dirty when you're making you a hamburger from scratch. Okay? So we're going to make those burgers about a half an inch thick. You see that? Press it down and make about a half an inch thick because you want to make sure that it can cook well done when we put this burger up in this Ninja Foodie. Okay? Now you see the size of that burger? Isn't that a great size? That's going to fit the bun perfectly once it cooks down. Okay? You're not going to have any meat that's too small for your buns. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish rolling these burgers, okay, and mashing them down. I'm going to make a next, another one so that you guys can see how to make these burgers, okay? Do it the same way that I am doing and showing you guys here on how to make those burgers. See that? You don't want them too, too thick and you don't want them too, too thin because you want some juicy tasting burger. Now. The type of meat that I'm using is that Walmart meat in the red pack. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm using. That's what I had. So that's what I, you know, I could afford. So that's what I'm using today. I ain't rich, but I know how to eat good, okay? So on the outside of your burger, I am going to put me some black pepper on the outside of my burger. And I am going to use some of that barbecue rub on the outside. Um, of my burger and you guys can do the same thing okay so go ahead and put you some of that mesquite barbecue sauce on the outside of your burger you're going to put it on both sides go ahead and flip that burger over and get ready to go ahead and put you some black pepper on the outside of that burger uh-huh uh-huh look at it look at it now look at it now this burger is going to be so tasty and so delicious. 
oh my gosh my mouth is watering just thinking about how great it's gonna taste go ahead and put you some of that barbecue rub on the outside of your burger and there you have it our burgers are patties are made and they are seasoned up really well okay i am gonna add some bacon to my burger so let me go ahead and put some bacon strips Yes, put these bacon strips into my Ninja Foodie because we want to have a, a bacon cheeseburger. That's right. You don't always have to go to McDonald's. You don't always have to go to Burger King. You don't have to go to Wendy's and get you a Baconator because guess what? You can make your own Baconator at home. Look at all these bacon strips that are going to cook up delicious and very nice in our Ninja Foodie. So... How I'm going to cook these bacon strips after I place them in my Ninja Foodie, I'm not going to cook them on sear saute. I am actually going to use my tender crisp lid. That's right. Uh-huh. Okay. Close your lid. Oh, I was having technical difficulties for a moment, y'all. But close your lid. Hit your air crisp, okay? And we are going to cook this bacon for approximately about mm, 8 to 10 minutes. So you're gonna flip it five minutes in, okay? Because I put seven, but it actually took about 10 minutes, okay? You guys, so go ahead and cook that bacon and make sure halfway through you flip it over. And now our bacon strips are done and they are cooked just right for a burger. They are not too hard and they are not too soft. They are just right for our burger. Now, I know it's oil in here. No, I'm not gonna take it out and wash it out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my um, basket in here. And I'm going to go ahead and lay me three burgers down in here. Okay, because that's all could fit for the size of burgers that I made. So on average, you can fit in two to three burgers. No more than that um, in your um, air fryer, pressure cooker. Ninja Foodie. I love my Ninja Foodie, you guys. You can cook just about anything in your Ninja Foodie. And it is going to turn out and taste just as delicious as it would in the oven or on top of the stove. Okay, so I had to turn it off because the timer was still going for my bacon. And we are going to cook these burgers approximately between 10 and 15 minutes, okay, at 400 degrees. So I would tell you all, honestly, your burgers, the burgers for the size that I have, they will have to cook between 10 and 15 minutes, okay? no questions about it halfway through make sure you come back and turn your burgers over go ahead and hit that start button now while my burgers are cooking i am going to prepare me some lettuce and some tomatoes lettuce the only thing you have to do is pull it off rinse it off for the proper size that you want it to be but as you can see here i'm cutting me a tomato that's right I'm cutting my tomatoes and I'm going to show you the size and thickness that I like my tomatoes to be. You see that? That's a great size for a burger and to get that correct taste, okay? And you don't have any juice plopping out of it like you would if you made the tomato any thinner. When you make those tomatoes really, really thin, that's what makes your buns really soggy and wet and nasty. But in, able to, in order for you to enjoy your tomatoes on your burger make sure you cut them about the size that i am showing you guys here i'm not perfect but i am showing you a great size so that those tomatoes do not have all that liquid falling out and messing up your burger buns okay so now Okay, so our burgers have cooked for five minutes. Um, it said 416, but we know that I had put on 10 minutes. As you can see, the burgers are cooking. You can see the seasoning on them really, really well. And you can see these juices flowing. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip these burgers over. And I am going to cook them on the other side. Now our burgers are done. Let me go ahead and cut that burger open so that I can show you guys that the burger did cook all the way through and my burger cooked for approximately 14 minutes so you guys like i stated previously it's going to take between 10 and 15 minutes but with the tender crisp lid you can check your burgers see here now you can see that my burger is well done there is no pink meat if you like the pink meat you know to make it a little less time it's according to your taste buds okay 
So now let's go ahead and make us some sauce. We're going to need some mayonnaise, which is a half a cup. We're going to need some French dressing. We're going to need some relish. You're going to need some minced chopped white onions, some sugar, and a teaspoon of uh, salt. Just a teaspoon, one eighth a teaspoon of salt. You don't want a lot of salt, you know? Just a dab. Hit it in dab, okay? And this is a Thousand Island dressing recipe. Not Thousand Island dressing recipe, but a Big Mac sauce recipe. Big Mac sauce recipe, you guys. Note it. You're going to need a little vinegar. That's right. You're going to need a little vinegar. Okay? And you're going to need to go ahead and add in that half a cup of mayonnaise. Because that's what we have, a half a cup of mayonnaise. And we're going to get ready to go ahead and mix these ingredients together once we have everything into the bowl. The Big Mac sauce recipe is online. All you have to do is Google it and you can see the recipe. Okay? And this is just the basics. So, you heard what the ingredients are? Go out and get you some so that you can make your own Big Mac sauce at home, okay? To spread on your homemade burger. If you can't get out, you know, we're in quarantine right now. So, go ahead and mix that Big Mac sauce together. And trust me, this turned out extremely delicious. This sauce was very tasteful. I was dipping my fries all up in this sauce. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's right. Look at it. Look at it. It has the same exact color as the Big Mac sauce that they give you at Mickey D's, at McDonald's. And I know it's going to taste so delicious on my burger. Now, I can't make a, a McDonald's burger. I don't have no soybean. I'm about to do all that. I like mine 100% beef. But, you guys, this is the Big Mac sauce, and it tastes really, really delicious. Okay, moving along, I found me some kind of buns at Walmart. That's right. I'm going to cut these buns open. And I'm going to put some butter on these buns. My daughter and I was having a debate on how to put the butter on the buns. But at the end of the day, I got these buns toasted the way that I wanted them. And yes, I toasted them in my Ninja Foodie. Okay? So I cut all the buns open. And then I put me a little bit of butter on my buns. Um, you... You know, I, want, I should have melted my butter first and then spread it on with a brush. But, no, I had to do it the old-fashioned way. Just put me a dab of, of, of butter on there, a little slice of butter, and throw it up there like it's real, a piece of real toast. And it wasn't, but you guys get the hint. You know, you can toast your bun any kind of way that you like, but I toasted these buns the way that I was just thinking for at the moment, you guys. And, yes, I did toast them in my ninja foodie okay i did everything i could in that ninja foodie but that big mac sauce cutting those tomatoes and washing off that lettuce okay because hey sometimes you got to do it whatever way you can i could have put it in the toaster oven but i didn't think about that y'all not at the moment wasn't worried about it i'm just trying to show my ninja foodie off and show you guys why i love my ninja foodie because it can do all things for me Okay, I know you guys like she's rambling on and on and on, but I'm not. I'm just telling you what I did. You see how I put that slice of butter on that bun? That's correct. And these buns at Walmart were a dollar and some change. They had it on the bread side for sale. Okay, you guys, now you can see I toasted it. Takes about two, three minutes to toast your buns up in your ninja food and on your air crisp the same way that I cooked the burgers, okay? So now my burger is completed. I have it put together. No, it doesn't look as delicious as uh, a Big Mac, um, you know, when you get it. But, hey, this is the best that I could do for my homemade Big Mac with bacon on it. You know, homemade burger that I made in my Ninja Foodie. Look at all that sauce dripping on it. Look at that melted cheese. Uh-huh. Doesn't that look delicious? The burger is big. Got to open my mouth really, really wide to get it in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I share this video out with each and every one that you know. And trust me, I love to see my friends in the comment section. Y'all come on. Go home and make you this burger. And come back and tell me what you think about it.